Hey everyone, this is Jason J. And today I'm going to be showing you guys basically on how to get um, custom sounds for the iPod Touch slash iPhone firmware 3.1.2. Um, now, in order to do this, you're going to learn. You're going to need to learn how to SSH. And basically, we're going to come to our computer, and you're going to learn. Or right, well, you're going to have to download this program called WavePad Sound Editor. And basically, once you download that. Uh, I'll have give you a link in the description. All uh, the WavePad sound editor will, all, uh, will be in the description too. But I will give you a link in the description to this website. It's called soundboards.com. Now, basically, you're going to be on a search. Uh, basically, um, there go the search bar. Basically, it's going to take you to this uh, website. All right. So basically, what you want to do is go ahead and search for something you might like. Um, I already searched for something. I searched for Grand Theft Auto 4. As you see, it's right there. So basically, I'm just going to scroll down to where I might see the clips. Here goes some Grand Theft Auto 4 clips. Wait till the page load here. This is the mansion. The mansion is coming. And on the side, you can go ahead and play like the ones while well, you can play the soundboards to see if you like them or not. I'm the one who survived. I'm just gonna pick some. Alright, so once you find the one that you might like, you can just scroll down into where it see download tracks. And basically you hit the arrow. You uh find the track that that's the name that you like so I liked it the second one and you might as well just hit download now go ahead and save it And then you're just going to uh, basically save it to our desktop. Let it get done. Alright guys, I'll be back once that's done. And we're just going to go ahead and close it. Alright. So basically, once we come into um, that, we have our track. I go my track. Before you do anything else, listen to me. Before you do anything else, I want you to go ahead and go to your start. You want to open up your uh, documents. I should have told you guys this first, but I forgot. And you want to go into your tools, folder options. You want to go to view. And you want to scroll down until you see high extensions for known file types. Make sure that box is not checked, all right? I repeat, make sure that box is not checked. All right, so basically once you have that box not checked, basically um, you will um, have to edit the MP3 into like two to three uh, seconds. So basically we're going to need wave well we're gonna need the wave pad sound editor all right so i set that in the beginning of the video it'll be in the description to download so basically we're gonna just go ahead and open up our wave pad sound editor and basically we're going to just drag it up into there all right so we can just go ahead and play it here we're gonna have to kill you well since you put it that way, I mean. You see that? That's like 10 seconds. That would not work. So basically, we're going to have to trim it a little. All right? So basically, we're just going to find a spot where we like into this audio. And you can do the same thing for your track, too. I'm just going to take this here. We're going to have to kill you. All right. So um, basically, once you make sure you highlight it the part that you do want. You do, like. Make sure you highlight the one you do like. Like, let's say I like this part. 
when he said this. Well. All right, so basically, if you want that part when he said well, I mean, if you like that part when he said well, oops, you make sure you highlight that whole part. All right, so I like this. And basically, we're going to come into the top bar here, and it's going to say trim. It should be the second one. You go ahead and hit trim. See, the reason why I told you to highlight your favorite part is because when you highlight it, it's telling that to, like, trim, like, the rest of all the audio. Uh, so basically, we could play it now. We're going to have to kill you. All right. So it's only, like, one second now. So that's good. For the iPod Touch or iPhone. So basically, we're going to just go and hit File, Save File As, and we're going to save this file as a AIFF, and we're going to just name it. If you want it as your own lock, then um, just put in lowercase. U N L O C K. That's all you put in. If you want it for your lock, then you basically put in lowercase L O C K. And make sure you save it to the desktop and hit save. Alright, so basically we have all the things that we wanted. So basically what we're gonna do now is find our file that is AIFF and we're gonna change it. We're gonna right click on it. Sorry for the bad quality, guys. And we're going to rename it. We're going to rename the AIFF, just the AIFF, that part. And we're going to name it to a CAF, dot CAF. Now, this message will pop up. Just go ahead and hit yes. Now, for Windows, um, you might get this little window-looking thing. Don't, uh, like, don't panic. It will still work. Um, so, basically... Once it um once you have everything settled and you want everything, uh basically you're gonna just right click and you're gonna create a new folder and name whatever you like. And inside of this folder, we're gonna uh, create a new folder called UI Sounds. It is uh, like it's a capital U I S lowercase O U N D S. I'm gonna repeat that. It's a capital U I S lowercase O U N D S and inside of this you're gonna drop drag and drop our CAV file into here all right so basically once we have that you gonna know how to like learn how to SSH um I don't know about anybody but I SSH no Wi-Fi using iPhone box basically what on um, phone box is is basically a no Wi-Fi connection we just plug into the iPod into its program so basically once we had the our folder and our things created, we're just gonna go ahead and open up our phone box. Click on our device, raw file system, var stash things, and this is where we're gonna drop our folder for our Win CP. Um, like this one, you just did everything I just said. All right, so then basically when we had that, we're just going to come into the iPod Touch. As you see, there go with my soundboard. We're going to just check, uncheck everything, except for our new folder. Yeah, that's not it. And custom sounds. And let it respring. And that's how you basically do it. Um, any questions, rate, comments, and, su and subscribe, guys. If you need any uh, questions, then basically just go ahead and uh, PM me. I'm Jason J. I'll be back with more videos.